Hey, Chris, I did this little video for you here to help you with the uh, graphing part of this. Uh, the calculator that I, or a graphing calculator that I recommend you use is called Desmos, and here is the, uh, here's the web address. So just go here, uh, and once you get here, there's a little, uh, there's a little icon at the top that says start graphing, and once you hit that, this is what you get. So this is uh, really pretty easy. What I would do, um, since, uh, since the variables here, um, the function is given as a function of y. A Desmos rec or, or recognizes x and y as x is the independent variable and y is the dependent variable. So I would just write this as y equals a function of x, but using the same constants and coefficients you have. So uh, start with what you had. This is uh, the way you would type it in here. Just say y equals, and then in your numerator you had uh, 21.75 plus x, and then it's just use the caret and give you the square here. And then we can divide that by uh, 8.5 plus 2, sorry, 2x. And then if you just hit enter, what you're going to see here is, that here is the graph itself. And if you look at the point where the tangent line is going to be uh, horizontal, or I'm sorry, parallel to the x-axis, uh, that's going to happen right about here, and I think you came up with a numerical answer of about 2, so that, uh, or x, y is, it should be y is equal to 2, but here, since you're using x as the independent variable, uh, at x is equal to 2, uh, this is where your, uh, where the, uh, the function is going to be minimized, and obviously the tangent line here is parallel to the x-axis, but I hope this helps. This is a very nice, uh, calculator to use. Again, the only thing you need to do different here is uh, understanding that uh, Desmos rec or recognizes uh, this as your dependent variable and this is your independent variable. And uh, that way you get the graph uh, in the orientation that you want. So I hope this helps. Uh, if not, give me a call. Thanks.